Hi, welcome to another video in my series on using McLaurin series. And in this video, what I want to do is show you how we can use this to generate a series for sine x. Now, I'm assuming that you're familiar with McLaurin series. If not, just go on my website, examsolutions.net, and just look in the index under McLaurin series, and you should find not only this video, but other videos to various expansions for different functions. Now, you might even like to pause the video at this stage and have a go at it, trying to expand sine x. So if you do want to do that, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. OK, welcome back if you did have a go. Well, first of all, what we need to do is work out what f of 0 is. And so f of 0, just put it up here, we just substitute x is 0 in and we've got the sine of 0. The sine of 0 is 0. Next, we need to differentiate f of x to get the first differential. So we've got f prime x or f dash x, OK, equals. And if we differentiate sine x, we're going to get cosine x or cos x for short. Substitute x is 0 into here, and it follows that that first differential, when we substitute x is 0 in, gives us the cosine of 0. Cosine of 0 is, in fact, 1. Next, we need to double differentiate to get this term. So uh, let's go for f double dash x, OK? Equals differential of the cosine of x is minus sine x. And if we substitute x is 0 into this, we then have the minus the sine of 0, which is going to be 0. We now need to find the third differential. So differentiating minus sine x gives us minus cos x. And again, if we substitute x is 0 into here, minus the cosine of 0 gives us minus 1. Looks like we're going round in circles almost. Let's just try one more. We'll look at the fourth differential of f of x. Differentiate minus cos x, we now have sine x. And we do go round in circles because when we substitute 0 into here, we're back where we started. So it equals 0. So no real need to do any more for this. It's just going to keep repeating itself. So that means that if we substitute all our values into McLaurin series up here, what we generate is for the first term f of 0, where well, that disappears because it was 0. And then we just get 1x or x. And then when we carry on this substitution, we find we get minus x cubed over 3 factorial and then plus x to the power 5 over 5 factorial and so on. The sign is oscillating, OK, minus, plus, minus, and so on. So we can pick this up through a general term, and it's going to be something of the form minus 1 to the power r, OK? And then we'll have this divided by 2r plus 1, with a factorial there, and then this will be x to the power 2r plus 1. And this series will carry on. It's an infinite series. Now, if I was to look at the graph, then, of sine x, OK? Let's just put this up here. The graph of y equals sine x is our wave through here, illustrated in red. And you can see what I've done. I've taken the first three terms of our expansion here and just drawn that graph. And you can see it goes like so. And for this part, from here to here, x going from about minus 2 to 2, you can see the graph is virtually on top of y equals sine x. But as we take more terms in the expansion, you can see I've taken up to x to the power 9 over 9 factorial. You can see our wave now is getting closer to 
y equals sine x we've got a much wider range of values of x that it's very close for okay from about minus 4 to about 4 all right so obviously the more terms you have in this the closer it's going to get to the sine wave and this expansion is in fact valid for all x now you might like to try your hand at working out what the expansion of cos x is okay just do it much the same way as we've done here pause the video come back when ready and you can check your solution with mine okay welcome back let's just see how you got on let's just put here similarly okay hopefully you adopted a similar method to what we had up here and if you did you should find that your first term was 1 and then the next term was minus x squared over 2 factorial and then you've got plus x to the power 4 over 4 factorial and then minus so it's oscillating in sign giving us just the even powers okay x to the power 6 over 6 factorial and so on and if you went for the general term the general term would be minus 1 to the power r x to the power 2r and this would be divided by 2r factorial okay and again this series would be valid for all x and it might be a good idea if you've got a graph plotting program why not draw cos x and experiment by taking several of these terms here and seeing how close it approximates to the graph of y equals cos x okay well i hope that's given you some idea then over these two trig functions sine x and cos x and uh, if you want to see more expansions or even as I say how I derive this just go on my website samsolutions.net look in the index under McLaurin series and you will find not only this but links to other expansions of other functions okay